Lewis Horn, and I work at a company called Unity here, developing cool electric cars. And this is a car? It is, it's one of the models. Yeah. Uh, can you just walk us one minute through? What are the features? Right, so this is a, a lightweight electric vehicle that's been really reinvented every single piece of the value chain uh, to work out how can we design a vehicle that fits into modern lives, modern usage patterns, addresses modern problems, and certainly is designed from the ground up for the technology that it handles. So, for example, it's an electric car that's why it needs to be light. And it's going to be launched, sorry, it's going to be launched today. It is. In a couple of hours, we're going to On the floor it over there. It is. Not, <laughs> the, not, not this one. There's another autonomous one that's going to come on stage, a little more expensive one. <laughs> so with more seats? Uh, no, the same model, actually. It's oh. a very similar looking model. And we are here in the site where this will be built, yeah. starting in March? Well, uh, first of all, next year, you, you can see the robots beside me here uh, that are going to demonstrate part of sort of a vision of our, our process. We do this in partnership with Cook Robotics. You'll also see a vision of a digital factory that you'll see on stage tonight. Um, so in this space here, primarily, initially, we'll conduct all of the evaluation prototyping and we'll do our production planning, cost modeling, and all those kind of things. Um, and if the volumes are manageable, we'll also manufacture them here. And if they're way, way too high for us, then we'll uh, look to sort of much more contract manufacturing help. And you have their, uh, your partners with you? You told us about 28 partners yeah. working with you? No, no, no. There's hun hundreds of partners working. It's just uh, we, we, we let a bunch of people know like a month ago, hey, if you want to exhibit at this event. So some of our key partners like Cooper Robotics, uh, Siemens, NVIDIA, guys like that showed up. Uh, some of them will speak on stage today, tell you to IoT. So just to show people some of the ecosystem that's behind this. Because, of course, from the outside it can look like... You know, 50 people on a salary that's, that's uh, hard to make a new car, although it grows very fast. But the reality is thousands of people in a huge ecosystem of very, uh, very you know, generous and open companies. That so how many people are working on this car for you in the moment? We come from the consulting uh, to the production to the engineering. How many people are involved in producing this car? So in the company, like contracted employees, uh, people on employee contract, it's about 50 people. Um, then there's probably another 50 or 100 that are very close by in terms of researchers, PhDs, uh, and so forth. And then a huge other network of people around the world and companies around the world. And so internally, not that much. Uh, I think from a German approach, certainly we have less management and process heavy right now. We're a much more content heavy company. And now we transition to the next phase next year. Bring on a lot more managers and a lot more Germans. Oh yeah, a lot of money. I always like to have some a lot of Germans in the team, and I always say, "Great, new Germans! Now we get something done." <laughs> <laughs> so you need engineers. Oh, well, we no, we have a lot of engineers. Okay. We need um, you know, the, the next phase is a lot more experienced people with complex challenges like supply chain and, and large scale ah, okay. operations. Ah. Yeah, management. When can I buy this car? So you can pre-order it now. You can pre-order it on our website, uh, unity.earth, unity with I, unity at Earth. Uh, it's about 149 euro pre-order. Pre That's always refundable, right up to the commit to a, uh, we don't call it a revenue. Uh, we don't even touch the money, it goes in a separate account. And then once we know the delivery date and we've answered a lot of the riskier questions, uh, then you can commit to a real purchase about midway through next year. And then delivery would be... Uh, Quarter one, 2019, so the beta test group. Some beta testers will get it early, alpha testers are now, and then the general public will get deliveries late 2019. And how many of these uh, cars will be on the road in two years? In uh, 2020, for example. Everywhere between a very nice niche business of you know, five or 10,000 units, everything up to Several hundred thousand, I would say. Who knows? Depending <laughs> on, you know, it's, it's about seven hundred. Depending on uh, how it all works out. And all made in here, or do you planning uh, other production sites too? Well, I mean, I, I certainly don't want to be naive about those challenges. If we get, if we need to deliver bigger numbers by 2020, we are definitely going to need to have the help, obviously, of contract manufacturers. Oh. If it's a manageable number, like 10,000 units or 20,000 units uh, or so, uh, that we know we can attract the capital and the confidence needed to achieve it, then, uh, then we'll go here. But if you work with a digital factory, as I understood, with Cooper and Siemens, it will be quite easy to copy and paste the 